<laughs> Here we are again. I was informed by my wife that there's a brand new movie on Max produced by M. Night Shyamalan called Caddo Lake. A streaming exclusive produced by Shyamalan. What could possibly go wrong? I'd like to talk about it for a few minutes in a spoiler-free review. Between Texas and Louisiana, there's about 25,000 acres of wetlands, simply known as Caddo Lake. And this is appropriately where our film is going to take place. We have two protags in this film. Protags short for protagonists, of course. Ellie and Paris. Paris naturally being a boy's name between Louisiana and Texas. You know, your standard Paris. Both of these characters are suffering from the loss of a loved one, and they're having a tough time getting over it. Paris is a downtrodden, salt-of-the-earth, blue-collar worker cleaning up the rivers. Ellie has an estranged father living with her mom and new sis, and she's got a father figure that she cannot stand because he'll never replace her old man. Even though he's a very kind, gentle person. We are going to be spending a full 50 agonizing minutes with these two dipshits, trying to understand what the point of this film is other than to bore me to tears. Now, it does get significantly better once the plot starts to take shape. Because these wetlands hold a secret. Something mysterious is going on. It's Shyamalan. It's Shyamalan, baby! We gotta have that carrot! And these two individuals are gonna be thrust into the middle of it all. The movie's PG-13. It's an hour 40, but feels like four. Again, it's an incredibly slow-moving affair where you are, I guess, paying attention to things that are going on so that it all maps together nice and easy in the future. The problem is nothing's very interesting here. These people are really dull, their lives are boring, and so every single scene where they're talking amongst their family and friends, you're just sitting there going, when is something going to happen, please? This is a mystery thriller. The real mystery being, why is this movie not a half hour shorter? The other mystery is, why didn't we find more interesting characters to follow? It looks okay. There's some pretty cinematography. The whole thing feels like it was shot on iPhones, like souped up iPhones, which I'm not knocking necessarily, but it, it does have a cheapness to it overall. It feels like a movie shot on a really low budget. Again, not knocking that either, just giving you an idea of what you could expect if you watched this film, which I don't recommend. Now, I'm not totally crapping on it. I do think there is an interesting premise here. And again, that second half of the film definitely moves quicker. And you may find yourself, you might catch yourself saying, oh wow, I'm actually interested in some of this now. My wife checked out completely. She hated the film and she was wondering why I was still watching it. And I said, damn it, I have people that rely on me to sift through the muck that these streaming services offer. It is not an easy task, people. Most YouTubers are not gonna touch this shit, but I'm in here. I'm getting dirty for you. And one of these days, I'm gonna find a gem. I'm gonna find a film that really is awesome. That's a streaming exclusive. It has to happen. Unfortunately, Cato Lake is not that movie. I am not gonna count this as a complete misfire though. I do think it has some severe pacing issues, and that first 45-50 minutes is an absolute chore to get through. If you can push through it, and you have absolutely nothing better to do, sure, give it a watch. You might be pleasantly surprised by the outcome. I'm not recommending it, but I'm also not shitting on it all the same. I want to hear from you though, did you watch this movie? Did you think it was just terrible from front to back? Or are you like me and you thought, oh my god, get somewhere with this film? And then you're kind of like, oh, it got somewhere with the film. Still, a lot of things I wasn't a fan of even in the second and third act, but... Okay, for a streamer, sure, fine, whatever. Let me know. Please like the video if you like this video. Subscribe if you haven't. I post movie reviews on all sorts of films every single week. Would love to have you stick around. If you really appreciate and respect the service I'm bringing to you, think about supporting me and the channel at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies. There are several different tiers offering a bunch of different perks, one of which is open to everyone, 300 exclusive videos and counting. It's, it's a beautiful thing. All right, hopefully I see you next time. Take care.